Hey, it's Kev from Blender Bits. In this video, we're going to be talking about whether or not it's worth it to learn Blender if you want to get a job in 3D or make money using 3D and doing animation. And I think the answer is going to surprise you. So check this out. Here we go. <laughs> Now, to answer your question, can you make money using Blender? Yes. Yes, you absolutely can make money by learning Blender. Will it get you a job in a studio? Well, that depends on the studio. It depends on how good your work is, and it depends on whether or not you can take the skills you learn in Blender for free, because, you know, Blender's free, and, well, you're watching a free video on how to, how to learn Blender. If you can do that, and you can learn Blender, and you can get good, and you can take those skills and transition to whatever software they use in a studio, then yes, if your reel is awesome, chances are you're going to get noticed and you'll be able to transition these skills to something else. Now, that said, there are some studios out there in the world, and Hollywood's global now, uh, there are some studios out there where you can go and use Blender for certain things, and there are people kind of, you know, in hidden back corners of these places that are using Blender. But the majority of the studios out there use paid software like Maya or Houdini or 3D Studio Max or Cinema 4D or in some cases Lightwave. And it would definitely benefit you to learn one of those as well. But yes, you can learn Blender and take those skills and move into lots of other packages. And one of the cool things that you can do in Blender, if you really want to, and I'm going to do a video on this later as well, is when you hit this little Blender icon, you see interaction. Okay, you can change from Blender to 3D Studio Max or to Maya. And when you're ready, in, in Blender, you can switch to, say, Maya and start using Blender with the feel of Maya. Okay, so that way it'll help your transition. And then you can also get, you know, some, um, some trial versions of Maya or especially trial versions of Houdini out there. There's a Houdini Apprentice where you can learn to do really am amazing things in, in a software that can easily transition you into the industry. That said, if you want to go the other route and make money using Blender, you can absolutely do that. And I will show you a few sites that will allow you to go ahead and go and start making money. Now, before I do that, when you're looking at forums like Reddit or you're on CG Talk or, you know, wherever you're talking to other people about Blender, you always come across the people that are like, you know, you can never make money using Blender, and if you learn that, it's going to be a waste of your time, and you'll never get in a studio. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, right. Like, there's some merit to some of that, okay, but don't listen to the naysayers too much. You can, all right? It's going to take some work, but don't let that discourage you, okay? Blender's free, it's awesome, you can get good at 3D, you can learn to think in 3D space, and then you can take those skills that you learn in here, and you can transition them to Maya or to Houdini or wherever, wherever else you want to go, okay? It's just a matter of, you know, finding what button does what in what software. I have bounced around many different types of software over the last 20 years, and I'll tell you that they are, they're more alike than they are different. So you take this, you learn the skills you need for free, and then transition to other software. Now, if you want to go the other route, you can go and you can grab Houdini off Side Effects Software's website. There's a free apprentice version, and you can get started using Houdini, and that will probably make your, your life go faster. The learning curve, I think, for Houdini is quite a bit steeper than Blender, but if you like it, go for it, okay? I, I, I'm software agnostic. I, I don't marry a software and say this is mine this is your best and this is your... like you can learn any software and use it for anything and there are certain things that certain software be is better for and other software is not so good at okay so the more that you add to your repertoire obviously the better you know equipped you, you will be to go out and make money in a studio now if you want to go the other route the entrepreneur route which i personally like I'll tell you flat out, yes, I have made money using Blender. I have taken free software, I have taken Blender, and I have taken uh, Digital Fusion from Blackmagic, and I have taken DaVinci from Blackmagic, and I have gone out and I have made money. I have bought myself an entire computer system with, at the time I think I got an NVIDIA uh, GT or something, what, the, what was it, 1070, 1070 card, 
or 1080 card stock in it with a nice monitor. And I still had money left over at the end of the project to, you know, go buy beer and stuff. So yes, you can make money. It's all about how you market yourself. Now, there are a few websites that I'm going to talk about that will show you all right, where you can find these jobs. So you learn Blender, you get good, and yes, you can go out and make money doing this. Now, the first of these sites is called Upwork. Upwork is a site, they, they'll take a little bit off the top of any job that you get, but you can go through Upwork and find paid gigs. Now, you're going to bid against lots of other people in the world. Don't let that discourage you, okay? Get good at one thing, find something that you love about Blender, something you love doing, and you can go out and bid on jobs and find customers, okay? And that just comes down to your ability to budget your time, budget your money, bid, and, you know, make, make, uh, make customers happy, and you'll find repeat business. Second website that uh, is probably much easier to get started with is called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R dot -R com. Fiverr is a website where you bid on these, you know, little $5 projects. And then you can set other price structures too within it. And you can do things like animated logos for people or product shots or a number of different things that people are looking for graphics wise. And you can start to get your feet wet and, and start to understand how you go out and, and, you know, service clients. So those two websites right there are really really good at you know allowing you to go out and find work and and there are others too but I would start with those two and go through those sites and see what people are bidding on okay see what people are what kind of projects are out there and then get a feel for what you want to do okay do you want to make logos do you want to do uh, you know entertainment type stuff do you want to do industrial animation okay most most of my career I've been doing industrial animation and it's paid pretty well I've been able to buy enough food and, and drinks and everything else, okay, car payments and whatnot, doing industrial animation, okay? So if you, if I created a line here, okay, I'll, uh, I'll use grease pencil here and I'll just draw a line, okay? So here is the world of graphics, all right? Here is the world of entertainment okay that's entertainment the rest is everything else from industrial architectural medical marketing okay there's lots of money out here everybody chases this because it's sexy okay this is where film lives this is sexiness okay this is where you brag to your friends and you go to the movies and you know you hope everybody can you know, wait till after the movie and watch the credits so they see your name scroll by, all right? Or they go on IMDb and you can brag that, you know, you've worked on this many movies. And that's cool. I think that's awesome. I love that, okay? But also keep in mind, there's this. <laughs> this is huge. There are a lot of people who do not do this, okay, because they want to do this. You can go here and you can eke out a living for yourself. Okay, is it easy? No, you're still competing with people, but this is a lot more competitive. This, a little bit less so, and a lot more work, okay? So I hope that this video gave you a little bit of truth. Hopefully you'll feel better. I, I know uh, there's been times where I was learning way back, you know, 20 years ago, and you know, I was discouraged often because, you know, there's just so much to learn. But if you take it chunk by chunk and you go video by video and you just learn what you need to learn, you'll get up to speed and realize that there's this whole world out here, all right? You don't have to focus here unless you really want to. And then, yeah, it's fun. This is cool over here, okay? But this, there's a lot more, okay? So hopefully you got something out of that video. If you like it, hit subscribe, hit like, whatever, and go forth and change the universe, okay? Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.